Foster. Vice Mayor Cowell. Here. Council Member Anderson. Here. Council Member Kelly. Here. Council Member Jewett. Here. Council Member Lucasen. Here. Council Member Winslow. Here. Approval of amendments of the agenda and new business items. Do I have a motion? I make a motion we approve the amended agenda and new business items 611-1 and dash 2. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes aye. have it. Reports and announcements. Uh, the only thing I have is a reminder to turn off cell phones. Thank you. Approval of the uh, consent agenda. Do I have a motion? I make a motion we approve the minutes of the regular meeting of August 23rd, 2011. Second. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Ayes have it. New business. Nora. Approved results. Resolution number 11-13, canvas the votes of the Town of Portside special election. Do I have a motion? I make a motion we approve resolution number 11-13, canvas the vote of the Town of Portside special election. Fraud. Second. Fraud. It's been, motion has been carried or, uh, and seconded. All those in favor? Oh. Should we have a reading first? Okay. Martin, would you do that, please? Resolution number 11-13, a resolution of the Common Council of the Town of Courtside, La Paz County, Arizona, declaring and adopting the results of the recall election held on August 30, 2011. Whereas the town of Quartzsite, La Paz County, Arizona, did hold a recall election on the 30th day of August 2011 for the election of the office of mayor, and whereas the election returns have been presented to and have been canvassed by the town, town council, now therefore be it resolved by the common council of the town of Quartzsite, La Paz County, Arizona, as follows. Section 1. That the number of provisional conditional provisional ballots to be verified was 28, and those voters found to be ineligible were zero. Section 2, that the total number of ballots cast for mayor at said special election, as shown by the poll list, was 573. Section 3, that the votes cast for the candidates for mayor were as follows. Ed Foster, 245. Jennifer Jones, 23. Jose Lizarraga, 302. That it is hereby, or Section 4, that it is hereby found, determined, and declared of record, A, Ed Foster is recalled from the office of mayor and is removed from the office effective immediately. B. Jose Lizarraga received the greatest number of votes of the electors of the town of Quartzsite voting at said election. C. Jose Lizarraga is qualified to serve as mayor of the town of Quartzsite. Section 5. That Jose Lizarraga is hereby issued a certificate of election to the office of mayor of Quartzsite. Section 6. This resolution shall be in full force and effect immediately upon its adoption. Passed, adopted, and approved by the Common Council of the town of Quartzsite, La Paz County, Arizona, this 6th day of September 2011. Point of order, you've not made a motion to violate town code by doing this. Um, hey, I uh, can explain that if you'd like. Please. Um, when I went to uh, doc group, oh, no, sorry, when I went to law school, I was taught to look at all the statutes and to compare the statutes together and to try to bring them into a blend. This, the uh, code section that uh, as Jones refers to, 2-3-1 actually is completely inapplicable here. It deals with primary elections. Uh, what she meant to say was 2-1-3. What 2-1-3 says is, council members shall assume the duties of office at the regularly scheduled council meeting next following the date of the general election, at which or effective as of the date of which the council members were elected. Member and council members, uh, mayor and council members will abide by courtside town council procedure and legal ethics standards of conduct manual. Okay, uh, this was not a general election. This was a recall election, um, and so what you have here is a situation where uh, a slightly hidden clause uh, 
uh, comes into effect. So rather than saying that uh, council members shall assume the duties of office at the regularly scheduled council meeting next following the date of general election, at which you have to go into com uh, to the comma, the parenthetical, or effective as of the date of which. Now, that requires that we take a look at what state law has to say. State law says, this is uh, section 19-1, which deals with uh, recall elections. Subsection A says, the candidate receiving the largest number of votes shall be declared elected for the remainder of the term and shall begin serving the remainder of the term on his qualification for the office on, and on completion of the canvas. So the term begins when the canvas is complete and the declaration is done. Um, declaration of, of uh, the results. Unless the incumbent receives the largest number of votes, he shall be deemed removed from office upon qualification of the successor. If the council approves this resolution, that occurs now. If the incumbent successor does not qualify within five days after the results of the election have been declared, the office shall be vacant and may be filled as provided by law. We received the declaration of the results on the first day of September. Today is the fifth day after that. If you don't qualify your mayor today, then the office will be declared vacant and you will appoint a successor. Now, I don't think that's what these folks want. Um, I'm sure that even the people that didn't vote for Mr. Lizarraga would prefer that Mr. Lizarraga take the office considering that somebody did vote for him than that this council just appoint his successor. Uh, but in any event, we have to follow state law in this case. The election results uh, will return to us on the 1st of September. This is the fifth day next following. Uh, if we determine that Mr. Lizarraga is qualified to be the mayor, he is the mayor effective immediately in accordance with state law. If we decide that he is not qualified to take the office, the office becomes vacant. But we cannot wait until the next regular meeting. He's not qualified. Your rules, not ours. Call for order. He's not qualified. We'll take the vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Nay. The ayes have it. Number two, the swearing in of newly elected official. She's come. Jose, will you come forward, please?
a Sympatico Behavioral Health Grant that helps to fund our recreation program um, through the season and in the summer and it also funds our prevention programming uh, and uh, helps us to promote uh, prevention from drug and alcohol abuse. Uh, this grant I believe is $55,000. It's a non-matching grant and uh, this is I believe the fifth year we've received that. Okay, can I have a motion on the item? I make a motion that we approve the Sympatico Behavioral Health Arizona Prevention Services Grant. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Being none, we'll go to the vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Ayes have it. All right, uh, moving on, item four, uh, Alex Taft. This is uh, approval re renewal of an intergovernmental agreement as provided in the agreement between Arizona Western College and the Quartzsite Public Library. Do you want me to explain Please. a little bit? Uh, this agreement provides that Arizona Western College supplement our collection with books up to the amount of approximately $500. Again, this is a long-term agreement that we've had. Um, and uh, they know money goes through the town budget. They actually purchase the books. But we require a renewal of the agreement in order for us to receive those books. May I have a motion on this item, please? I make a motion to approve renewal of the intergovernment agreement as provided in the agreement between Arizona Western College and the Quartzsite Public Library. Second. Been moved and seconded. I will call for the vote. Or, excuse me, uh, any discussion, please? Yeah, Bob. Reading through this, this is only for a 12-month period, is that correct? Correct. And it is a great but not matching. Uh, no money passes through our budget. They actually buy the books for the library. Correct. Anybody else? All right. Being no other discussion, we'll go ahead and uh, vote on this item. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, all right, looks like that's the end of the business. We'll go ahead and adjourn the meeting at this time then. God bless America. Oh, man. Jerry,
Bunkers is up there and he can't keep his house from going into bankruptcy. He owes a tax, $22,000 in back tax. This council has stolen six and a half million dollars in this town. Where's all the money going to? 